51 Raptor engine tests in just a few days, a new Starship breaking records before it even flies, and Elon Musk accidentally leaking crucial flight data while playing Diablo. This week at Starbase has been nothing short of extraordinary. Speaking of extraordinary, SpaceX just shattered their own turnaround record. Rolling out Booster 13 just nine days after Flight 5, that's less than half their previous best of 21 days. But what's even more fascinating is what we discovered about how close Flight 5 came to disaster and the incredible engineering decisions that saved it. Over at McGregor, Texas, something unprecedented is happening. One single Raptor engine fired 34 times in a single hour, pushing the boundaries of what these remarkable machines can handle. Meanwhile, the first next-generation Starship has emerged from the shadows, sporting radical design changes that could revolutionize the entire program. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest and most exciting developments in the world of SpaceX and beyond. Let's dive right in. Let's begin at McGregor, where SpaceX is pushing the boundaries of rocket engine technology. The star of the show? A single Raptor engine, serial number ending in 50, accomplished something unprecedented. Within just one hour, this remarkable engine completed 34 test fires. In total, 51 fires over mere days. But here's what makes this truly fascinating. Each startup and shutdown of a rocket engine creates extreme stress on its components. These rapid-fire tests simulate the intense conditions these engines will face throughout their operational life. From launch ignition to booster separation, from landing burns to future Mars missions, every cycle counts. SpaceX isn't just testing an engine. They're stress-testing the future of space exploration. Behind the scenes, our NSF photographer, Gary Blair, captured something even more intriguing, a Raptor 3 engine on the horizontal test stand. This is a significant development, until now, we've only seen Raptor 3 testing on vertical stands. This expansion of testing capabilities suggests SpaceX is accelerating the development of their next-generation engine technology. Speaking of next-generation technology, Ship 33 has finally rolled out for testing, marking a historic moment as the first complete Block 2 Starship. The differences are striking. Gone are the single central raceway, replaced by an innovative split design with dual primary raceways and a smaller third one dedicated to the flight termination system. The removal of those prominent nose cone stringers gives this ship a sleeker, more refined appearance. But appearances aren't everything. Block 2's internal changes are where the real innovation lies. SpaceX has completely reimagined the propellant management system, requiring an extensive series of cryogenic proof tests to validate these new designs. While previous ships typically underwent two cryo tests, Ship 33's testing campaign could be more extensive due to its revolutionary features. Timeline-wise, if we look at historical data, ships typically take six to eight months from this point to reach flight readiness. However, Block 2's new design could either accelerate or extend this timeline. Based on SpaceX's track record and continuous process improvements, we're looking at a potential flight window around April 2025 though SpaceX has been known to defy expectations. The future fleet is already taking shape. Ship 34 is progressing rapidly, with its common dome and upper LOX tank sections now complete. Meanwhile, ships 35 and 36 are advancing through production, with heat shield tile installation underway on their nose cones. The Star Factory's completion has significantly enhanced SpaceX's production capabilities, setting the stage for increased manufacturing efficiency. Infrastructure development continues at an impressive pace. Pad B received a new, larger, subcooler installation near the horizontal LOX tanks. Another identical unit awaits installation, highlighting SpaceX's commitment to expanding their launch capabilities. The orbital launch mount is undergoing repairs at Sanchez with the first level already assembled. But perhaps the most remarkable achievements came from Flight 5's aftermath. SpaceX broke records by returning Booster 13 to the orbital launch mount just nine days after Flight 5, demolishing their previous 21-day record. Within 72 hours, they completed ambient pressure testing, cryogenic proof testing, and a full 33-engine static fire. That's 606 individual engines fired on the orbital launch mount in just 11 days. However, the real story emerged through an unexpected source, 
Elon Musk's Diablo gaming session. The background audio revealed a crucial detail about Flight 5. The booster came within one second of triggering an abort due to a misconfigured spin gas support system. While this might sound alarming, it actually demonstrates the robustness of SpaceX's safety systems and their ability to handle complex scenarios. The engineering team also disclosed concerns about the chine covers, one of which detached during the landing burn, directly above critical single point failure valves. While the hardware remained undamaged, this insight has led to design improvements for future flights. As for Ship 31, currently prepping for Flight 6, SpaceX is undertaking extensive heat shield modifications. Teams are not just replacing ablative material on the flaps, but also addressing the main tank surface tiles. This comprehensive approach to thermal protection system upgrades demonstrates SpaceX's commitment to continuous improvement. The tempo of development at Starbase is accelerating. With Booster 13's successful static fire campaign complete and Ship 31's preparations advancing, Flight 6 could launch as soon as mid-November. However, SpaceX is carefully balancing speed with risk mitigation, ensuring each improvement enhances both performance and reliability. As we wrap up this week's update, it's clear that SpaceX is writing a new chapter in space exploration. From shattering the nine-day turnaround record to pushing Raptor engines to their limits with 51 test fires, every achievement brings us closer to a multi-planetary future. The emergence of Block 2 Starship with its revolutionary design changes and enhanced capabilities signals a new era in spacecraft development. Meanwhile, the revelations about Flight 5's near-miss and subsequent improvements demonstrate SpaceX's commitment to learning from every challenge. With Flight 6 on the horizon and the potential for a four to six week launch cadence, we're witnessing the transformation of Starbase from a testing facility into a true spaceport. The future of space exploration isn't just being imagined here, it's being built, tested, and improved upon every single day. If you want to stay at the forefront of these exciting developments, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this update informative and share it with fellow space enthusiasts who need to know about these groundbreaking achievements. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on which development excites you most, the rapid turnaround time, the Block 2 innovations, or perhaps those intense Raptor engine tests. Your engagement helps our community grow and keeps everyone informed about humanity's journey to the stars. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, and we'll see you in the next update as we continue tracking humanity's greatest space adventure.